Hey everyone today I'll be talking about portal hypertension portal hypertension is defined as sustained elevation of portal venous pressure greater than 10 mm of mercury or it can also be defined as elevation of the hepatic venous pressure gradient more than 5 mm of mercury or it can also be defined as portal venous pressure more than 5 mm of mercury greater than that of the inferior vena cava the cause or say the etiology of portal hypertension can be divided into three parts either it can be due to prehepatic causes such as splenic or portal vein thrombosis or it can be due to intrahepatic causes such as cirrhosis of liver or it can be due to post hepatic causes such as inferior vena cava thrombosis A patient of portal hypertension can suffer from a variety of symptoms which can include features related to esophageal varices such as anemia and hematemesis or the patient can have features of ascites such as abdominal distension or the patient can have an enlarged spleen known as splenomegaly or the patient can have features of hepatic encephalopathy such as flapping tremors to confirm the diagnosis of portal hypertension your doctor would advise you to get some investigations done which can include a blood profile a liver function test an ultrasound of the abdomen a ct scan and a mri scan and also an esophago gastroscopy to look for the esophageal varices also your doctor can advise you some other investigations which can include hepatic venous pressure gradient a mr venogram a liver biopsy and also an ascitic tap for ascites once the diagnosis of portal hypertension is established then its management include the following things There will be measures to reduce the portal pressure which can include prescribing an appropriate drug therapy or surgical intervention or a transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt. Also there will be measures for treatment of esophageal varices and measures for treatment of the ascites. Also there will be measures for prevention of hepatic encephalopathy So this was all about portal hypertension in brief Here is the overview of what I have discussed If you think this video was helpful do like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel Thank you